Rachel Peterson of Ionia went to a Meyer pharmacy in Petoskey this summer to get a time-sensitive prescription for treatment of her miscarriage. The lawyer representing her says the pharmacist refused because of his religious beliefs. He told her that in good conscience he couldn't fill her prescription because he's a good Catholic male and then accused her of trying to end her pregnancy. Even though Peterson told him her OBGYN determined the fetus had no signs of life, meaning she had already lost her baby. The pharmacist did not believe her. The ACLU says this was clearly gender discrimination. The medicine that she was seeking um, can work to treat a number of ailments, including stomach ulcers. So had Rachel been a male patient, we think it's really inconceivable that this pharmacist would have denied her this medication. The pharmacist also refused to transfer her medication. Peterson had to drive more than three hours to another pharmacy near her home. Kovach says regardless of the employee's personal beliefs, customers should get their medication without delay. Now we hope Meyer um, institutes a policy or clarifies an existing policy that if they're going to accommodate employees' religious beliefs, that they ensure that um, it doesn't prevent or hinder um, any patient's access to medicine that they need.